Hey garden people, with winter right around the corner, we're going to go through several garden tasks to complete in the fall. You ready? Even though fall may seem like a slow time in the garden, it might truly be the busiest season for a gardener. So let's get moving. First, we'll pick the rest of the fruit from our trees. These apples are so sweet right now, so we want to pick them before they overripen, and we can always store these for later. While you're picking the fruit, take a moment to give your trees an organic fertilizer. This will give them extra nutrients to fight off pests and disease during the winter so they can grow back strong in the spring. We'll also harvest the rest of our winter squash that's ready before any frost hits it. Make sure to harvest squash that's deep in color and we can store it in a cool dry place all winter long. And for any fresh fruit or veggies, you can try your hand at canning to preserve them even longer. We have apricot jam and whole peeled tomatoes from our summer crop. And while those summer plants start to die back, we'll go ahead and pull those out and either plant winter hardy crops or sow a cover crop which adds nutrients back into the soil and acts as a living mulch. Unfortunately, weeds won't stop growing in the winter, so make sure to keep your planting beds well weeded or else they can be even harder to pull out in the spring. Now's a good time to add compost to your soil so it has time to set in for spring. Looks like our compost is almost ready, so we're going to keep turning it for a bit longer. In California, it's finally the rainy season so we'll adjust our irrigation to account for the extra watering. We'll turn our irrigation down to just a few minutes every other day, but check your local weather to see when it's raining in your area. We somehow still have zinnias growing strong, but it's a good idea to prune or deadhead your dying flowers so the whole plant stays looking nice. It also focuses the energy of the plant on newly emerging blooms. But if you want the seeds of your flowers, let them die back and make sure to collect those seeds before the heavy rains wash them away. Now is also a great time to plant spring bulbs like garlic, ranunculus, or tulips so they can establish roots now to bloom early next year. And if you feel like there's no time on your hands, that's okay. Just take in the beautiful transition of fall to winter and start dreaming about or even jotting down what you want to plant in the spring next year. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more garden content like this.